First, put the beeswax-coated queen rearing frame into the hive to build comb. This is a comparison of queen rearing frames of beeswax-coated or not. The wax-coated frame is more acceptable to bees. After bees build comb in the queen rearing frames, fit the queen bee controller on the queen rearing frame. Put the queen bee in it to spawn. After the larva emerged, take out the bee cell strip slowly. Each black removal bottom has three cells. This way can guarantee the acceptance rate. After removing all the cell strips, this is the half of the frame. Install the cell strips with larvae on the queen bee set. Put the queen bee set on the royal jelly frame. Put in the hive to let bees feed. You will get high quality royal jelly after feeding for three days. Install the cell strips on the queen rearing frame again. Note that each piece must be pressed with your thumb during installation. If there is an uneven place, press it to make it even. Please make sure there are no gaps between the black removal strips and the frame. Fit the controller again. Put the queen bee in and let it spawn in it. You can recycle using. This kit can also produce single royal jelly. Install the cell cups on every cells of strips. Please note the directions, one to one. Then, put it into the bee colony for feeding. Take it out after three days. Removing the single royal jelly cup one by one. During this process, the single royal jelly is not in contact with any tools. It's very clean. You can store them in the refrigerator. In addition, this kit can also raise queen bees. Because larvae never been moved, you can get high-quality queen bees. The efficiency of this kit is much higher than manual grafting. And the larva is not moving. The acceptance rate of bees is also higher than manual grafting.